What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jerron Eitner, a.k.a. Black One, popping on him real quick with a quick reaction video. My phone has been blowing up over the last hour because everybody's been telling me that Spider-Man is no longer part of the MCU. Sony took him back. Sony took him back from uh, Disney. Disney no, no longer has access to Spider-Man, which leaves a massive just gap in their stuff. Honestly, the whole thing is just a giant power play from my perspective. I think that the, the, the rumor has it is that Disney asked for 50% of the shares of Spider-Man. Sony said no. From a logistical standpoint, this makes sense because Sony will probably make that money back making their own movie anyways. And if they give 50% to Disney, they're going to end up losing money because they also have to provide the budget for the movie. So it kind of makes sense as to why Sony is in this position. Now, all this news that I'm hearing about, I actually think that Disney is the one who leaked the information. Why? Because the internet is in complete shambles over this information right now. And it's going to apply pressure to Sony to get Sony to want to, you know, play ball. This is a really interesting scenario. And, you know, I think that Phage kind of saw this coming because that's why the most important scene of the movie, the end credit scene where they reveal Spider-Man's identity, was an end credit scene. Because what it does, it provides a couple of different options for, um... Sony or for Phage to continue the MCU for example if they want to go ahead and continue the MCU at this point all they have to say is that Spider-Man has in, is in hiding now that's all they got to say is that he's in hiding his identity got revealed he went into hiding he's no longer a part of the MCU simple write-off pretty genius move and if they decide to get him back then you know they just keep making Spider-Man movies with that said uh, I believe that Tom Holland and Tom Watts are both under contract for two more movies um, which I imagine that Sony, if they're smart, will continue to make. The question is, um, uh, are they going to bring Venom in? No, ben Venom made a billion dollars. So Sony would be smart to try and continue that franchise and bring Spider-Man into it. Another option is Miles Morales. Shoot two movies with Tom Holland, kill him off, bring in Miles Morales. I don't know. I just know that the internet's in shambles. My phone's been blowing up because everybody knows I'm a massive Spider-Man fan. Honestly, I think the whole situation is hilarious because these, these studios don't really... They, 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 it's all about the money, man. It's all about the money. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section. Spider-Man, now part of Sony, no longer part of MCU. Internet in shambles. Let me know what you think. This is your boy, John Eitner, with a reaction video. One love. We'll see you soon. Peace.